Hello everyone. Uh, now I'm going to solve uh, example two uh, and find the optimal solution for this example using the Excel solver. So similar to the previous example, example one that I solved in the previous uh, video, I have to enter the information for decision variable. I have to enter the coefficient of decision variable in the objective function and the constraint and then we can use a solver add-in package to find the optimal solution so here I'm going to quickly enter the information so the first column is related to the uh, decision variables here we have three different decision variables x1 x2 and x3 so i'm going to enter x1 x2 and x3 and very quickly x1 x2 and x3 then after decision variable we have the objective function after objective function we have constraint here we have three different constraint constraint one constraint two and the constraint three so i'm going to copy them uh, down constraint one two and three and after that we have the value of decision variable so this cell that we have these three cell that we have here is give the value for decision variable after we find the optimal solution and here these are the uh, coefficient or parameter for decision variables as you remember we have to enter total sign and the right hand side also uh, for the sign for the constraint uh, we have uh, here for the first constraint we have the less than equal for the second and the third constraint we have the same thing so I'm going to enter less than or equal and copy them down for second and third constraint now we have to enter the coefficient of the x1, x2, x3 in the objective function the coefficient of x1 in the objective function is 2 the coefficient of x2 is the minus 1 and the coefficient of x3 is 1 for the first constraint the coefficient of x1 is 3 coefficient of uh, x1 in the second constraint is 1 and in the third constraint is 1 coefficient of x2 in the uh, first constraint is 1 in the second constraint is minus 1 in the third constraint also is 1 for x3 we have to do the same thing we have to enter the coefficient of x3 in the first second and in the third constraint i'm going to recheck all information again to be sure that there is no any mistake the right hand side for the first constraint is 60 second constraint is 10 and the last one is 20 after you enter all of this information or enter all of these parameters it's a time to uh, write down the uh, uh, function or equation for the total so as you remember we have to use the equal sign for the objective function as you see here we have 2x1 minus 1x2 plus 1x3 so 2 which is the value is written in the b2 multiply by the value of x1 plus minus 1 multiply by x2 plus 1 multiply by x3 so this is for objective function we press enter we go to the first constraint put the equal sign 3 multiply by the value of x1 plus 1 multiply by the value of x2 plus 1 multiply by the 
value of x3 we have to do the same thing for the second and the third constant so I'm going to write this equation very quickly here 1 uh, multiply by x1 plus minus 1 multiply by the value of x2 plus 2 multiply by the value of x3 and for the third constraint is the same situation 1 multiply by value of x1 plus 1 multiply by the value of x2 and minus 1 multiply by the value of x3 so after you enter all of this information for the objective function actually these are the equation that you have to enter one by one and you have to be careful to not do not make a mistake otherwise the solution will be wrong after you enter all of this information it's the time to go to the data ribbon and use solver add-in to find the optimal solution so now I'm going to use the solver and the in the first part it asks you about the set the objective it means that the value for objective function which we calculate in the cell E2 I'm going to select cell E2 here then it's asked about the type of the model our model is a maximization so we are going to max select the max and then we are going to enter the value for decision variable so here when it says that by changing the variable cell it means that the value for decision variable so you have to select the three value for decision variable that we have here so you have to left click here and select all value for x1 x2 and x3 and then we have to enter uh, the value for the constraint we have to select add then we have to select the left hand side the sign and the right hand side press add second constraint left hand side sign right hand side add and for the last constraint is the same left hand side which is the cell reference the sign which is the less than or equal and the constraint shows the right hand side and you have to press ok so here we have three different constraints we are going to click here put the tick for make unconstrained variable non-negative to be sure that decision variable are non-negative and we have to use the simplex LP for solving method and press solve to find the optimal solution and as you see the messages came solver found the solution the constraint are satisfied we have optimality you have to press ok here you can see the value for objective function as 25 and these are the value for decision variable the value for x1 is 15 the value for x2 is 5 and the value for x3 is 3 and that's the end for this example